Jay Z and Beyonce are the record holders now in terms of the most expensive home ever purchased in California. Did you know that Beyonce and Jay Z own one of the most expensive homes in the U.S.? Or that LeBron James went from a modest apartment in Akron, Ohio to a stunning estate in Los Angeles? Get ready to be amazed as we bring you part two of the 20 most incredible celebrity mansions. Let's watch it. It's fascinating. Jay Z and Beyonce. Young B in the ROC. Uh oh, OG, big homie. The amount of money Beyonce and her husband Jay Z have exceeds the GDP of some countries. So you can imagine the type of Titanic house they have as their main home. Well, it's a monstrous mansion in Bel Air, which set the record for the highest real estate sale in California last year. The couple bought this property in 2017 for approximately $88 million, making it one of the most expensive real estate purchases in Los Angeles history at that time. And it was a fantastic investment because today the property is worth around $295 million. The mansion spans 27,870 square meters and is located on nearly two acres of land. Designed by architect Paul McLean, it is known for its straight and clean lines, offering an almost completely rectangular space. The main house has eight bedrooms and 11 bathrooms, and the interior spaces are designed to always have natural light and panoramic views with large glass windows connecting to the outdoors. Speaking of the exterior, it features four swimming pools, each with its own design and purpose. Among the rooms, you can find amenities such as a full spa, a gym, a movie theater, a game room, a basketball court, and an entire playground for kids. Additionally, there's also a garage that can accommodate 15 cars. I know Beyonce is called Queen Bee, but seriously, even the most powerful medieval queens didn't have palaces this enormous. Adam Levine. One would think that a music star of Adam Levine's caliber would live in a gigantic mansion, the kind with multiple floors where you could easily get lost if you take the wrong turn. But, strangely, his main home is much more similar to yours or mine. In fact, he opted for a single-story house. Of course, the house is huge, certainly bigger than yours or mine but it still follows the plans of a standard residential building and doesn't exceed the dimensions of a large house. Although it is still a mansion, it has several extra spaces, such as a home theater, a small arcade section, a personal bar, huge closets, a pool, and even an outdoor living area. And of course, a small recording studio where many of Maroon 5's songs have actually been recorded. And all this in a single story building, it's good to know that some celebrities have a bit of modesty when it comes to their residences. I mean, this house has no shortage of luxury, but it's nothing remotely as extravagant as what we've seen before. The White House. I know, technically it's not a mansion. It's more of a government building than anything else. But it is still the residence of one of the most powerful and therefore famous people in the world. The President of the United States. Yes. What we're seeing here is nothing more and nothing less than a tour of the very White House. Of course, for national security reasons, not everything can be seen, but what we can see is the Oval Office, where the President usually works. And something you might not know about this office is that depending on the President, the furniture and decorations change. That's right, it's completely customizable. Currently, there's a colorful furry rug with the US seal and bronze busts of people whom the current President admires. In fact, the furniture that's there now was chosen by Joe Biden's brother. An election is coming up in the United States. I wonder how the Oval Office will look after that. Lenny Kravitz. All you gotta do is keep on loving me. When you have a celebrity's money, you can turn any property into a luxury mansion, no matter what it was before. And if you don't believe me, ask Lenny Kravitz, who transformed a Brazilian coffee plantation into his personal mansion. You see, Kravitz bought a 19th century coffee plantation and, after a long process, turned it into one of his favorite residences. It is located in the agricultural land surrounding Rio de Janeiro and still maintains a historic facade identical to what you would find on a plantation. However, the artist converted many of the production buildings into guest houses, gyms, pools, and even a recording studio for his music. Initially, it was a whimsical project but it has become more and more the musician's primary residence, serving as a kind of retreat from the hustle and bustle of the city. The lands around the mansion still function as agricultural and cultivation lands where the musician actually works and produces. 
It's nice to see that some people haven't forgotten the importance of the fields. LeBron James. It seems that in every generation there is a basketball player who takes all the glory. In the 90s it was the famous Michael Jordan, but today that title undoubtedly belongs to LeBron James, nicknamed King James, or the Little Emperor. And of course, when you get all the glory, you need a mansion to match. And he certainly has one. The property cost LeBron an incredible $52 million. It is located in Brentwood, an exclusive neighborhood in Los Angeles, very close to other famous neighborhoods like Beverly Hills and Bel Air, so it's in the hills of Los Angeles and has a direct view of the city's landscape. The mansion is approximately 15,842 square feet. It has eight bedrooms and 11 bathrooms. And as you can see, it has a huge infinity pool from which you can see the stunning landscape. The house also includes a spa, a hydrotherapy room, a sauna, and even a fire pit surrounded by the pool. The mansion was designed by the famous architect Paul McLean and has been highlighted as one of the most aesthetically pleasing mansions in all of Los Angeles and its surroundings. A castle worthy of the current king of basketball, don't you think? Kendall Jenner. What we're seeing is one of the main residences of supermodel and television star Kendall Jenner which was bought in 2019 and redesigned for an entire year to suit Kendall's tastes. In fact, she herself oversaw all the renovation work. The residence is in the hills of Los Angeles, hidden among the mountainous terrain surrounding the city, and acts somewhat like a mountain cabin to escape from the world. Jenner herself has ensured that the spaces remain as simple and elegant as possible to create an aura of tranquility and privacy to the point that there are no televisions, or at least not in spaces like the living room or studios. It also features luxury spaces such as a huge pool, a mini bar, and even a painting studio, which is Kendall's favorite activity. And as you can see, everything has exquisite aesthetics. Rita Ora. This mansion is a true beauty, almost as lovely as its owner. It is the sanctuary of the famous London singer, Rita Ora. It's from the Victorian era but has been remodeled to have a beautiful modern interior without changing the classic charm of the facade. As is the case with several London mansions, it was originally built in the 19th century and had some famous owners in its time. In fact, Rita chose this particular house because it previously belonged to the illustrator Arthur Rackham, who was one of the first people to illustrate Alice in Wonderland and one of the singer's favorite artists. The property retains several historical details like some chimneys and murals that have been around for over a century, but almost the entire interior has been modernized. According to the singer herself, everything in the house was done to create a comfortable space for her rather than to give an aura of elegance. Regarding exterior details, the house has a huge garden with fountains, statues, and all kinds of vegetation. It looks like it's straight out of a fairy tale and gives the illusion of being in a forest environment, even though the mansion is in the middle of one of the busiest cities in the world. Certainly an enviable house, don't you think? Gwyneth Paltrow. Many celebrities live strangely solitary lives, as the lives of personalities like movie stars or famous musicians often involve much more work than we usually imagine, and of course, very little time to spend with loved ones. So, celebrity mansions can sometimes be quite lonely, but of course there are exceptions, like the fortunate case of Gwyneth Paltrow, who created a mansion with the express purpose of sharing it with her family. And when I say she created it, I mean it literally because the entire building we see here was built from scratch according to the specifications of the famous actress. As you can see, almost all the rooms have marble finishes, either white or black depending on the function of the room. For example, the bathrooms have black marble with golden details, and the kitchen has white marble with blue accents. Of course, the house is very elegant. It is a mansion after all. But according to Paltrow, the point of it all is to be a home for her family, and especially her children. It's good to know that at least a couple of celebrities have priorities similar to ours. Frank Lloyd Wright. What do you think the house of the most famous architect in the world would look like? Well, this unusual mansion we see here is the answer to that question. It is none other than the house that the famous architect Frank Lloyd Wright built for his son, and according to him, one of his favorite works in terms of design and functionality. Of course, it's not a common house in the slightest. Its design is based on the figure of spirals, and if you look closely, the entire structure of the house, including rooms and the driveway, forms a giant ascending spiral. This is quite remarkable given that it was built in the 1920s, 
when there wasn't the technology to produce curved glass or metal robust enough. So the architect had to use all his architectural knowledge to curve the house using only straight materials. According to Wright, spirals are a symbol of eternity and longevity, and he might have known something we don't by using these figures, as both Wright's son David and his wife Gladys, who lived in the house, each lived over 100 years. Located in the exclusive Arcadia neighborhood in Arizona, although it's not as large as some other mansions we've seen, it is so incredibly unique in its kind that it is more of an architectural treasure than a house, and I believe none of the other mansions on the list can hold that distinction no matter how grand or beautiful they are. Jessica Alba. When you're a celebrity, you can have the house you want and make it as crazy and extravagant as you want. But some people simply choose to have an ordinary house, just significantly larger, like the famous actress Jessica Alba and her new house in Los Angeles, which she shares with her husband and children. Now, on the outside, it's a mansion with unique architecture and unmatched finishes that mimic black wood. However, the interior was modified to have the shape and function of a standard house. And well, the result is a bit amusing because everything inside this mansion is gigantic, but it's designed to have the appearance of a common house. If you look closely, it makes the people inside look much smaller than they actually are. Both Jessica and her children look very small inside the house given its enormous proportions. Aside from the curious visual effect, the house is quite elegant, but still remains a home for the famous actress and her family. It has little in terms of special luxuries, aside from a pool and a gigantic patio. I guess it's proof that you can live large without necessarily having excessive luxuries. Tyrese Gibson. A house so big that if I walked through all its rooms, I'd probably get calluses on my feet. That's how popular action actor Tyrese Gibson describes his impressive mansion in Atlanta. And the truth is, the more you look at it, the more accurate that description becomes, because it is truly enormous. It's located in the Buckhead suburb of Atlanta, Georgia, one of the city's most exclusive areas. It has approximately 2,800 square meters of living space, with seven luxurious bedrooms, nine full bathrooms, and two and a half guest bathrooms. Tyrese's bedroom is located on the first floor and, for some reason, has an entry code. His bed is, according to the actor, much higher than all the others because in his childhood, he slept on the floor and wants to distance himself from that experience as much as possible. The kitchen functions more like a restaurant kitchen than a normal one, to the point that Tyrese has a professional chef working for him. The exteriors are covered in forest and vegetation, with the patio and pool being quite green. According to the actor, this was what led him to buy the property in the first place, as it gave the mansion a privacy and connection to nature he hadn't found in any other house. In the basement, there is a special section with a gym, an extra-large game area, and a guest suite. And as if that weren't enough, on the upper floors you can find a small theater, a recording studio with a gold microphone, and a meeting room. I hadn't known envy until I saw this actor's house. Maluma! Many of the mansions we've seen so far are located in popular cities like Los Angeles or London, where most of the world's rich and famous are usually concentrated. But that's not always the case. You can find celebrity mansions all over the world, like this one that belongs to the famous singer Maluma. Located in Medellin, Colombia, the mansion is located on the outskirts of Medellin, in an exclusive area with panoramic views of the city and the surrounding mountains. It has approximately 1,200 square meters of living space, with six bedrooms and eight bathrooms. It also features high ceilings and large windows in much of the space, making it very bright. In terms of luxury, it includes a home theater, a gym, a 100 square meter pool, and a ping pong table. It's good to know that not all mansions are in Los Angeles. Naomi Campbell. Have you ever arrived at a place and fallen so madly in love with it that you wanted to buy a house in the area? Well, this happened to British actress and supermodel Naomi Campbell. And the place she fell in love with is perhaps one of the most exotic and unusual you can imagine. You see, for her residence, she chose the surreal coastal village of Malindi in Kenya, which is known for having some of the most beautiful beaches in Africa, almost identical to the best Caribbean islands, except that instead of being in the Atlantic, they are bathed by the Indian Ocean. Naomi traveled to this place in 1999, and since then has created for herself a huge villa that is basically a gigantic hotel for her, her family, and friends. 
It was built using the same techniques and materials that locals use to keep the interiors of their buildings cool in the heat of the day, only on a larger scale and with a somewhat more elegant finish. Hence, you'll find wooden structures with palm roofs. It has approximately 930 square meters of living space, spread across several cottages, and even a private beach. In total, there are five bedrooms and seven bathrooms, as well as two different pools, one of which is covered by a traditional roof, as the heat in Kenya can be quite intense. Tell us in the comments, have you ever found a place where you'd like to build a house? I have, but unfortunately, I don't earn enough. Demi Lovato. Baby, I'm the baddest, you fucking with a savage, can't have this, can't have this. How many different styles can you put in one house? Well, apparently, that was the question famous singer Demi Lovato asked herself when decorating her mansion, as it might be one of the houses with the most styles, so much so that from room to room, there are 180 degree changes in decor with completely different colors and schemes. According to the singer herself, she wanted every space in her house to be unique and not repeat colors. The concept is definitely unusual, but despite its oddity, it works quite well, as the different designs create a curious division of spaces without using walls or physical separators. In the middle of the house, there is an indoor garden for the singer's dogs, which connects to the real garden of the house, giving the dogs a sort of special room. Some might say it's the strangest and loudest mansion we've seen so far, but I like it. It's a reminder that sometimes we need to add a bit of color to life. The Weeknd. You know, sometimes I can't feel my face when I'm with you, telling you about celebrity mansions. Just kidding. The one who can't feel his face is The Weeknd, especially after buying his latest mansion. You see, after his meteoric rise to fame, the very eccentric singer, Abel Mackinnon Tesfe, better known by his stage name The Weeknd, purchased one of the most exclusive homes in the Hidden Hills neighborhood, one of the most upscale areas north of Los Angeles. To give you an idea of who lives there, his new neighbors include personalities like Kanye West, Kim Kardashian, Drake, and Miley Cyrus. The mansion boasts an incredible 1,254 square meters with seven bedrooms and 11 bathrooms. Moreover, the mansion is divided into three separate houses. It might be the best in the area as it's the only one with a view of the mountains from the back. In terms of luxury, there's a massive basketball court and an underground garage for the singer's luxury car collection, and of course a pool. But at this point, it's hard to find a mansion that doesn't have one. J Balvin. If I didn't have pictures to prove it, I don't think anyone would ever believe me if I said that reggaeton superstar J Balvin's mansion is almost completely inspired by Japanese buildings. Yes, just as you hear it, its style is so Japanese that if you saw it at first glance and no one told you its location, you might think it's in some rural part of Japan. But no, it's on the outskirts of Medellin, in the picturesque mountains surrounding the city, surrounded by several native forests of the area. It has approximately 1,000 square meters of space, including the structure and surrounding lands. As you can see, the house's divisions, floors, and several walls are almost identical to what you would see in a traditional Japanese house. However, J Balvin is nothing traditional when it comes to what you can find in the rooms, to the point that he has an entire room dedicated to his impressive shoe collection, so many that he can't even remember how many there are. The house has five bedrooms, and Balvin loves to change rooms every day to the point that he has made it a goal never to sleep in the same bed two days in a row. It also has a modest garage with space for one car and two motorcycles, but the singer cares little about his vehicles. The only thing he cares about in that garage is that his two dogs sleep and eat there, so he has arranged the space to make it comfortable for them. It's a bit strange that someone known for the flamboyant and irreverent nature of his music has a house that is so clean, calm, and minimalist. I suppose sometimes you can't judge a book by its cover. Lily Allen and David Harbour. Did you know that London singer Lily Allen and famous Stranger Things actor David Harbour are married? Yes, that's right. Despite how different these two celebrities may seem, they've been married since 2020 and have a mansion together that is quite elegant. Located in Brooklyn, it is quite unique among mansions. Originally a 19th century building, it was renovated by the couple, giving it a very particular style. It almost looks like a movie set with its fine decorations and wallpapers. 
Now, New York is a particularly difficult place to have a mansion since space in the city is almost non-existent, which leads to unusual proportions and strange designs like windowless rooms or closets that are a bit larger than the actual room. But hey, in a very strange way, it works just like this mismatched couple. Kevin Hart. With a decent sized house or apartment, you can set up a small office to work remotely using a room or a studio. It works for me, but it turns out, if you're rich enough, you can turn your entire office into a house. And if you don't believe me, just ask the famous actor Kevin Hart, who customized his Hollywood office to the point that it's like a small house away from home, which he named Heartbeat. When it comes to offices, it's perhaps the most comfortable you've ever seen, with a huge business bar, a giant living room with a fireplace, a conference room for interviews that looks like it's from a TV show, a makeup room like the ones found on a Hollywood production, and of course, since Hart's industry is film, a fully equipped home theater. And let's not forget the workspace itself, which is quite enviable. And if that's just his office, I can't imagine what his house must be like. I think I speak for everyone when I say that Kevin Hart made all our offices look like trash in comparison, don't you think? Aaron Paul. After all the amazing mansions we've seen, it would be easy to associate the word mansion with a giant modern house. But it turns out that occasionally celebrities opt for more rustic options, like Aaron Paul, who gained fame by playing one of the main characters in the famous series Breaking Bad. Unlike many other celebrities, he decided to create a property not with cutting-edge materials, but by using a barn originally built by Amish communities as the base. Although this was just the base, it was later built around with brick and stone. And look, the result is this beautiful and cozy giant cabin. It also features what might be the most incredible basement we've seen, as it functions more like a secret recreation area with a small bar, a pool table, game tables, and a huge shelf where the actor keeps mementos from the movies and series he's acted in. Terry Crews. You'll hardly find someone as incredibly charismatic as actor Terry Crews, famous for his Old Spice commercials and his role in the acclaimed comedy series Brooklyn Nine-Nine. And I'm happy to announce that in addition to being charismatic, he's humble because he's part of the select group of celebrities who have opted for a normal house rather than an extravagant palace. In fact, Terry's main residence is an apartment, not a house. And while it's very well located in downtown Los Angeles, it's still just a large apartment, not even a penthouse. However, it's filled with the actor's eccentricities, like several unusual mementos from all the works he's been involved in, displayed around the apartment as decorations. Like many of us, Terry has a small studio dedicated to his passions, such as video games and animation. And to be honest, those studios are actually a bit small, reminding us that being a celebrity isn't always synonymous with being a wealthy spendthrift. There are a few celebrities who, deep down, never stopped being regular people like the rest of us. I think out of all the mansions we've seen, this one is my favorite. What's yours? Leave your opinion in the comments. Here are two options that you'll surely love.